Say go. Good morning, Oak Lawn. My name is Don Murphy. I'm the 2019 president of the Oak Lawn Chamber of Commerce and the proud business owner of American Family Insurance right here in Oak Lawn. And I'm Oak Lawn resident and planning development commission member Vernon Zemhagen. It is our pleasure to welcome you to the, villages of Oak, the Village of Oak Lawn's annual 4th of July parade. Our parade is brought to you in cooperation with Mayor Sandra Berry, our village manager Larry Deachin, village clerk Jane Quinlan, and our Village Board of Trustees. And with the efforts of our village staff, including our Public Works Division, our Police and Fire Departments, and our hardworking Special Events Committee. Starting off the parade today, we have the Oakland Fire and Police Department. Um, their uh, battalion vehicles, which have been featured in many, in many special service escorts and parades throughout the state of Illinois. There will also be four medics riding on their bikes along the parade route to help out with anyone who might be dehydrated, lightheaded, or in need of any other medical attention. Vernon, we always appreciate the job that our, our the men and women of our fire, in, in, fire department and our police department and our public works do, providing such a great job and protection to the residents and the businesses of our village. We sure do, Don. Oakland's truly been blessed by having some absolutely top-notch first responders and village employees all around. Vernon, how long have you been here in Oakland as a resident? Oh, about six years. Okay, all right. Pretty cool village, right? Uh, absolutely. I, it's uh, beyond a doubt the gem of the south side of Chicago. No place I'd rather be in this in this city. And with all of the the new development going on going along on 95th and back in the promenade towards 111th, we see a lot of growth coming here in the village very strong and exactly the kind of businesses you'd want to see coming into your neighborhood all right Vern, who do we have uh coming up well first up we've got the the uh, johnson phelps vfw post 5220 they're uh right between the police and fire battalion and in front of the american flag the vfw post was formed in oakland in april of 1946 by returning world war ii veterans and named after two Oakland veterans killed during World War II. Currently, the VFW Post has 600 members, making them the largest veteran organization in Oakland. Initially, the members gathered at the Oakland Public Library and later, later held functions at Brant's Dugout. In 1951, the Post moved into its current location on 52nd Avenue and Yorale Drive. Throughout its history, Post 5220 has successfully brought veterans of all ages and backgrounds together making the post and its ladies auxiliary I'm sorry members of the post and its ladies auxiliaries have a strong reputation for participating in community events performing volunteer work at hospitals and spearheading donation drives and fundraisers for charity through the work of its members Johnson Phelps continues to make a difference in the lives of countless individuals and has made a tremendous impact on the surrounding community Johnson Phelps is an exemplary member of the community that serves as a continuous representation of the unyielding bravery courage and perseverance of our nation's armed Forces, both present and past. Next up, the Oakland Raiders holding the American flag. The Oakland Raiders Social Club is a non for profit group with 55 members and was founded in 1974. The club holds various functions throughout the year to raise funds for the needy, including churches, food pantries, cancer walk, MS organizations, and the Oakland Community High School scholarships. The Oakland Raiders mission is, t is simple. Stay local and help those in the community in times of need. And what a tremendous mission that is. And uh, some of the more uh, prominent members of the uh, VFW, what am I saying most prominent? They're all very prominent. But uh, over here closest to us is uh, Dan Johnson, whose birthday it is today. And uh, Happy birthday, Dan. Happy birthday, Dan. What a day to be born. And uh, so there's a VFW who just passed our, our booth, and then the Raiders are the ones holding the flag, like we said earlier. That is a big flag, Don. They have a big, they have a big procession there. I wonder if they've got... Uh, awesome, guys. All 55 members holding this flag. God bless America. Well, Amen, and, and uh, thank you hey to guys. Oakland Raiders for holding that big flag. 
Great job, guys. Thank you. You know, I actually got to hold the American flag during the uh, Black Hawks victory parade. When the second time they won the Stanley Cup. Oh wow! How'd you how'd you get that opportunity? I worked for Boeing at the time, and uh, they had a deal with the USO. The USO carried the flag, and they used some of our people to do it as well. That's All right. Awesome. Following the Oakland Raiders, we have the Marine Corps League, the Burbank Detachment. The Burbank Detachment has been in existence since 1952, and is always and always welcomed new members. The Color Guard takes its close order drill very seriously. The Burbank Detachment loves marching in parades and presents both the Marine Corps League and the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps League supports various programs to promote and honor the spirit and traditions of the Marines, including Young Marines, Boy Scouts of America, and Toys for Tots. Awesome. Thank you to our Marine Corps League. The weather's not bad up here today, Vernon. No, it isn't. I've certainly come to parades that have been quite a bit, more, quite a bit hotter at 81 degrees and... Uh, very tolerable humidity. Very tolerable, especially for the big guy. And <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say that, but uh, with the temperature, no rain. What more could you ask for? Perfect day. We've got quite the turnout today, too. I think so. Both sides of the street seem to be very well well filled out. And uh, after the parade ends. A lot of these people are going to continue the fun at the Oakland Park District's 4th of July party. Their Park District's party in the park event at Memorial Park, which is at 102nd and Major Avenue. All right. Next up, we have the Knights of Columbus, number 3582. They represent Oakland Parish's St. Gerald, St. Linus, St. Catherine of Alexandria, St. Louis, Louis de Montfort, St. Germain, and St. Albert the Great. The Knights of Columbus are Catholic men of faith and men of charitable action. They serve multiple churches with donations to blind vets. They provide honor guards for churches, including confirmations, wakes, and funerals. From international charitable partnerships with the Special Olympics, the Global Wheelchair Mission, and Habitat for Humanity, to their own food for families and coats for kids, projects, and, projects, and other local charities. The opportunity to work with the fellow Knights and their families is virtually endless. Thank you very much to the Knights of Columbus. The uh, gentleman holding the sword, John, he is uh, actually in a band with my wife. Great bassist. The executive director of the Oakland Chamber of Commerce, Julie Miller, just came up to join us, and her daughter, Brittany Pennington. How are you? How are you today, Julie? Very good, thank you. Good. Are you enjoying the parade? I sure am. Awesome. Well, enjoy. Enjoy. All right, coming up, we've got the trustee trolley. We'll have the uh, trustee, village clerk, and the village manager. District 1 trustee Tim Desmond has been a resident of Oakland for over 27 years and was elected into office in 2013. Trustee Desmond started the very successful Oakland Jobs Program for high school graduates. The Oakland Jobs Program helps people from Oakland obtain jobs with Oakland businesses. He also started the permit waiver program to encourage people to do improvements, repairs to their homes. Permit fees up to $100 are waived during the two weeks prior to Memorial Day and are good for one year. Trustee Desmond is also a member of the Public Works Committee, the Special Events Committee, and is chairman of the Legislative License and Ethics Committee. Trustee Desmond is married to Eileen and his four boys and two girls. He has as many kids as I do, and I've actually uh, been uh, a user of the permit waiver program. And we also have a trustee, dist trustee for District, district 2, Alex Onicek, our village trustee of the 2nd District, Alex Alex Giolinchek has been named has been an Oakland resident for the past 49 years. He was elected to the village board in 2005 and is committed to meetings to meeting and exceeding expectations of the residents of the village of Oakland. He is a fourth he is a fourth degree Knights of Columbus member, a member of St. Gerald Holy Name Society, a Raiders Social Athletic Club member, a member of the Oakland Kiwanis Club, trustee. Onichak graduated from St. Gerald's School in 1980 
and Oak Lawn Community High School in 1984. He's a parishioner of St. Gerald Church and is married to Teresa. They're blessed with four boys, Vince, Matt, Zach, and John David. His all-time favorite musician is, of course, his mother, C.L. Onichek. He enjoys having ice-cold beverages at the Homestead Bar with his friends. And last in that trolley was newly elected District 3 trustee Paul Mallow, who has lived in Oak Lawn for 25 years with his wife Pam and three boys. Paul has worked with the Special Rec Department in Oak Lawn Park District and Oak Lawn Baseball and Softball for many years. Trustee Mallow is working on bringing new businesses to Oak Lawn and is looking forward to working closely with his constituents and village board to make Oak Lawn an even more amazing place to live. And I think he's going to do a really good job. Also on the trolley we had uh, William Bud Stalker, who's also been a village resident for over 30 years, along with his wife Mary Ellen. They have five children and seven grandchildren. Uh, he's a member of St. Linus Parish, and he's just helped establish best practices in Oak Lawn and our village operations, and he continues to work to reduce flooding occurrences in the village. We also have 6th District Trustee Tom Phelan, who was elected to the board a second time in April of 2017. He served two prior terms from 20 to 2005 to 2013. To, yeah, sorry, 2013. He was actually on the board and was a special events liaison when the village voted to bring back the 4th of July parade. Tom is married to his beautiful wife, Sue. Together they have three sons, their oldest son, Timothy, middle son, Kevin, and their youngest son, Matt. The Phelan family wishes everyone a safe and happy Independence Day. And our village manager, Larry Deachin, was also on the trolley. Simply said, the Deachin family wishes all a wonderful holiday with your friends, family, and loved ones. Enjoy the unparalleled freedom in our country and the men and women who protect that freedom for us every day. Larry Deachin, Madeline, Heather, Chad, Jill, Willow, Alwyn, Sage, Gary, and Susie, God bless the USA. And lastly in the uh, trolley, our village clerk, Jane Quinlan, is a lifelong resident of Oak Lawn. She's been a village clerk since 2005 and became the mis master municipal clerk in 2014. She enjoys serving the residents of Oak Lawn and loves spending time with her growing family, especially her 13 grandchildren. You'll often see Jane and her family attending many events throughout the village of Oak Lawn. Jane and her husband, Walter, are proud owners of the Walter Quinlan Funeral Home. And we'd also uh, like to acknowledge uh, Congressman Dan Lipinski. That's right. Dan Lipinski was elected to the House of Representatives in 2004 to serve the people of Illinois' 3rd District. He's a proud native of the district, which includes parts of Chicago, southwest Cook County, and northwest, I'm sorry, northeastern Will County. Representative Lipinski has earned the reputation as a legislator who brings people together to solve problems, distinguishing himself as a leader on transportation issues, the promoting of American manufacturing, and job creation through research and innovation. Dan Lipinski has convenient offices located throughout the 3rd Congressional District, Chicago, Oak Lawn, Orland Park, and Lockport. Each office provides many constituent services pertaining to federal government agencies such as Medicare, Social Security, Immigration, uh, veterans issues, postal, and IRS. Please feel free to visit his website for more information. We'd like to extend a hearty welcome to Congressman Dan Lipinski. And Vernon, I want to make sure that we did not miss the uh, Oakland Elks Club. I believe they're coming up. I think we might have had someone out of order there. Okay, the Oaklawn Elks are a benevolent and protective order of Oaklawn Lodge 2254. Their exalted ruler is Linda Rifus. The officers and trustees of Lodge 2254 invite all Elks to join in their lounge on Friday evenings for food, fun, and karaoke. Lodge meetings are on the first Monday of the month at 7 p.m. at 10720 South Central Avenue, right in Chicago Ridge. We also have the Disability Defenders of Marist High School. The Disability Defenders of Marist High School is a non-for-profit organization that serves those with developmental and intellectual disabilities within the local community. They are dedicated to spreading a message of acceptance about those with, within the disabled community. Their fundraising event, Thank the Building Fest, will be held at Marist High School on July 20th at 3 p.m. You can find the Disability Defenders on Facebook. How you doing, guys? Yes, sir. Channel 4. Shout out. Happy 4th of July to you guys. Shout out Thank to you. the Elks Club. I'll take two. All right. Okay, this is our Oakland Elks Club right here, Vernon. 
right here in front of us. They yes, are very sir. friendly. No one else has come up and uh, handed us anything. I've got two rulers right here now. Don the ruler. Rule out drugs. Illinois Elks Drug Awareness Program. Awesome. And there they have their elk mascot in their convertible Camaro. And here are, of course, as we said earlier, the Disability Defenders of Marist High School. And immediately behind them is Pilgrim Faith United Church of Christ. Pilgrim Faith United Church of Christ is located at 9411 South 50, 51st Avenue. Marching with Pilgrim Faith today are church families of multiple ages and generations, including members of their Sunday school, food pantry, and beds volunteer, beds plus volunteers. Worship services at Pilgrim Faith are held on 9.30 a.m. each morning, each Sunday morning. All are welcome. Pilgrim Faith offers great programs for children of all ages and also a vibrant student ministry for junior and senior high school, high school students. Wow, you hear that uh, shouting, that can only mean one thing. There's a sports mascot coming up. Oh, Benny the Bull. Does he have Paxson with him or Gar? I've seen a lot of movement in the uh, in the NBA over the past week. Is there anything that maybe you'd like to ask Mr. The Bull? Uh, I don't, can I ask it on air, Vernon? I believe you can. No. Uh, what, what better way to celebrate <laughs> the freedoms afforded to us under the I, Constitution am, than asking... I'm a diehard Bulls fan. Let's just leave it at that. Asking your favorite mascot the burning questions. I want a, I want a big name player here in Chicago. We're due for a championship. So Benny the Bull, Benny the Bull mascot, a longtime favorite here in the parade, coming to you live from the Chicago Bulls, Hall of Famer, 11-time All-Star, your favorite mascot, Benny the Bull. Benny the Bull has been named the most popular mascot in America by Forbes.com. Benny is happy to celebrate America with you and hopes to see you all at the United Center this season. There is indeed Benny the Bull. And immediately following Benny the Bull is the Dare Police Command Vehicle and Race Vehicles. The Oakland Police Department, in partnership with the citizens of Oakland, recognizes the needs of our community and law enforcement's role in addressing those needs. One of those programs that our police department has continued to successfully offer is the Dare program. Dare, of course, stands for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. Hey guys, Dare is a highly acclaimed program that gives the kids in our community the skills they need to avoid involvement in drugs, gangs, and violence. Dare is a police officer-led series of classroom lessons and that teaches children how to resist peer pressure there's and live productive chief. and violence-free lives. There's uh, there's our police chief, Chief Palmer. The Oakland Police Department instituted the Dare program in 1989 and is taught to fifth graders in 12 elementary schools. Thank you to all our DARE students that are participating in today's parade. The Alcon Police Command Vehicle is used as a command post during critical incidents. There are two retired police cars that have been converted into race cars for the 5-0 at the Dirty O, the race at Route 66 racetrack to benefit Special Olympics of Illinois, part of the Law Enforcement Torch Run. And, uh, you know, I want to say a, a special shout out to my dear graduate, my son Ethan just finished fifth grade at Sword Elementary School and is a proud graduate of the D.A.R.E. program. They do such a great job. The program's been around for quite some time. I believe it says since 1989. Yep, that's, that's right, Don. 1989. Awesome. So that's when we started teaching to the fifth graders vocal. Awesome. Oh, look, at these, is, uh, look at these race cars. Oh, wow, the windows are out of there. That's cool. Yeah, they're all ready for the derby. No mirrors. I, I don't believe these cars are street legal. <laughs> Up next is our Worth Township. Worth Township's elected officials are proud to participate in the Village of Oaklawn's 4th of July Parade. Among those representing the township today are John O'Sullivan, Supervisor of Worth Township, Clerk Katie Elwood, Assessor Sean Murphy, Highway Commissioner Vicki Moody, Trustees Patrick Hanlon, Richard Lewandowski, Kelly Sexton Kelly, 
and Eamon McMahon. Thank you to the Worth Township. Sure, I want a Tootsie Roll. All right, all right. Why, why thank you, sir. I think I like Worth Township even more now. They brought us a handful of Tootsie Rolls, Vernon. All right. Appreciate not being forgotten. All right, and then following the Worth Township, we've got the Oak Lawn Park District Broadway Junior Theater Program. The Oak Lawn Park District's program is a nationally and state award-winning program that was created in 2001 by former Oak Lawn Mayor David Heilman. This summer, the IPR Way... I'm sorry, I'm going to say that right. The IPRA award-winning Broadway Junior Program presents Susical the Musical. Come enjoy our light-hearted show and support our young superstars. Performances are held at the Oak View Theater July 11th through the 14th. Get your tickets today at the box office or online at showticks4u.com. That is showticks, the number four, the letter U, dot com. And they really do a great program. I don't know if you've ever been out there, but... It, it always amazes me right. that these these kids, they're little kids, they're not adults. Sure. They do such a fantastic job. I couldn't memorize that many lines if I had to, <laughs> but they've got the lines, they've got the songs, they've got the choreography, and they they execute on that flawlessly. Awesome, awesome. Great. Thank you, guys. Up next is the Oak Lawn Park District. The Oak Lawn Park District is proud to be part of the parade. The vision of the Oak Lawn Park District is to create an environment that promotes happiness among staff and patrons. The Oakland Polk Park District promotes a strong sense of community by providing leisure opportunities and the preservation of natural resources that enhance the quality of life and wellness for everyone. In Oakland, there are more than 300 acres of parks, recreational facilities, and open lands that include playgrounds, walking paths, ball fields, picnic facilities, indoor and outdoor tennis courts, a driving range, outdoor swimming pools, an indoor ice arena, two fitness centers, a community theater, and a skate park, and an 18-hole golf course. Thank you to our Oak Lawn Park District. Looks like we have more members of the Oak Lawn Park District Broadway Junior Program. This is our theater program right here from the Park District. Not only do they do such a, a great job, but the age range of the children represented in this program is another one of their amazing strengths and another thing that never ceases to astound me. The Park District has been a big part of the community yes, for a very long time. And uh, the Oakland Park District bus once again reminding us that immediately following the parade we'll be partying the park from 12 to 4 p.m at Memorial Park, 100 Second and Major. And as the outlaws are coming up, I want to remind you all to make sure you always continue to shop local. Shop Oak Lawn. Support our businesses right here in your community. All right, and, so... And the Oak Lawn Outlaws. That's right. All the right. Oak Lawn Outlaws strive to teach young men and women the core values of respect, responsibility, pride, teamwork, education, and healthy, safe competition through football and cheerleading. They field five teams, starting with the flag team for four to six-year-olds, all the way up to their seventh and eighth grade juniors team. They play an eight-game season against area teams with a chance to qualify for the Metro League Super Bowl. The cheerleaders chair at all the games and compete in two tournaments a year. The season is capped off by an annual Florida trip for the seventh and eighth graders to compete against teams from all over the country. For more information or to register online, visit oaklawnoutlaws.org. That is oaklawnoutlaws, one word, no spaces, dot org. Go Outlaws! And immediately following the Outlaws is also a local favorite, Penny Lane Schools. Penny Lane Schools are nationally accredited early childhood education centers that also provide extended care for working parents. They provide educational programs for all ages, as well as before and after school care with transportation for elementary age children. Penny Lane schools also offer great summer camps that include monthly field trips, weekly picnics in the park, and weekly fun that can include visits to local pools 
and sprinkler pads. All locations have an open door policy. So stop in and take a tour with them. Penny Lane Schools. Immediately following the Penny Lane Schools are the Girl Scouts of Oaklawn. Girl Scouts of Oaklawn represents a major, I'm sorry, it represents multiple troops with girls ranging from the age of 5 to 18. Girl Scouts offer a variety of fun and challenging activities like earning badges, selling cookies, going on exciting trips, exploring the outdoors, and doing community service projects. Girl Scouts encourage girls to work with other girls to pick and choose exciting, hands-on activities. The girls discover what they are good at and grow confident to help themselves and others. They learn how to be kind, honest, responsible, and caring, and they practice the kind of open communication that leads to healthy relationships. They also make delicious cookies. They, uh, they do. I can't tell you how many boxes of cookies we buy per year, Vernon. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think the chances of uh, them bringing some of them up here to us are? Well, if they have any more, I don't know. If, are they still fresh? They probably sold out. <laughs> okay. And marching along right behind them is Boy Scouts Troop 619 from St. Gerald's uh, Cup and the Cub Scout Pack 3619 of Arrowhead District. Troop 619 has been continuously chartered by St. Gerald Holy Name Society in Oak Lawn since 1946. That's over 73 years. Boy Scouts are one of the nation's largest and most prominent values-based youth development organizations. They offer programs for young people that build character and train them in the responsibilities of participating citizenship. Arrowhead District is part of the Pathway to Adventure Center Council and the new combination of Chicago Area Councils. PAC 3619 had its annual district-wide Cupmobile on June 29th. And also right here is Marie Newman for Congress. Marie Newman is running for Congress for the 2020 Democratic primary. They're running this race with the third district to elect a representative that will fight for affordable health care for all, efficient public transportation for all communities, addressing income equality, and fighting for the quality of our lives every day. The primary election is March 17, 2020, but there's always time to volunteer. You can find Marie's website at marienewmanforcongress.com. All right, and a bit behind Mar Mary Newman is the Oakland Baseball and Softball. They've been providing an opportunity for organized recreational baseball and softball for boys and girls ages 4 to 16 and full-time and part-time travel baseball and softball for players 8U and up since 1954. Players practice and play games at our beautiful Oak Lawn Parks along with, the, along with at the uh, Spartan Complex and Ernie Cole Fields off 99th and Central. This past spring, Oak Lawn Baseball and Softball partnered with the Chicago White Sox who provided jerseys and hats for all players in addition to the opportunity to participate in pre-game parade on the warning track during the white during a White Sox outing. Spring baseball and softball registration begins in October. Practices begin the first week of April and games begin the first week of May and run through the end of June. Fall baseball and softball registration is currently open. You can check them out at oaklawnbaseball.com. That is Oaklawn Baseball one word, no dash or spaces hey or anything. Oaklawnbaseball.com for more details and to register. And I also need to say I've had kids in the Oaklawn baseball program. It's a fantastically run program. There's a lot of camaraderie on those teams, a lot of leadership, a lot of great coaches, and uh, a lot of great people running that program. Nice and cool under the tent today, Vern. You know what would be even nice? What would be even nicer and cooler? What's that? Some Culver's custard. Because up next we have Culver's of Oak Lawn. It looks like they're throwing candy, oh, they're not custard. All right. Yeah. They're a renowned, Midwest, a renowned Midwestern staple known for its incredible butter burgers and frozen custard. The chain first opened its doors in 1984 in, in, in Salk City, Wisconsin, then eventually made its way to 107th and Cicero. Culver's proudly supports education, sustainability, smart farming, and community building programs. Come meet their mascot, Scoopy, and see what all the buzz is about. 
I actually remember when they came to the Planning Commission for their parking variation. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And next we have Fit for Mom Oak Lawn. Fit for Mom is a local fitness group for moms of all eight, all stages. We offer classes like stroller strides, as well as high intensity classes for mom at Strides 360 and Body Back. This is always cool right here. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I would love to find. Uh, I'd love to find out how to get that job riding the Medina flying carpets. Who we have next? Flying carpets have been. They're selling. They're celebrating 50 years of parading. In 1968, the Medina flying carpets started as an idea and shortly became a reality. Since then, the Medina Flying Carpets have performed all over the United States and Canada. And still, to this day, one of the founding members, Richard Dickens, is, a, is flying a carpet 50 years later. They're doing a little uh, twirl here for us in the announcer's booth. Some carpet formations. Those led by their grand. Fast. <laughs> they, they do. They, I don't know if I'd be uh, comfortable going that fast with the no guardrails or, uh, <laughs> or fenders holding me in. Led by their Grand Caliph, Tim Dooley, they are one of the Medina Shriners' premier parade units. Their antics and parade maneuvers are requested by many cities and townships all over the Midwest. Can they really, fr can they really fly? I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to watch as they continue down the parade route. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Medina Flying Carpets. Looks like they're coming by for another pass. Oh, great turnout along the parade route today. This is awesome. Yes, it is. And you know, at 80 degrees, I think the temperature has actually gone down as the day progress. We have a nice cool breeze. In years past we've had some issues with people having uh, heat exhaustion, fatigue, dehydration. I know we've had to have our first responders who are riding the parade route on their bicycles step in and help people, but I don't think we're going to be having any of that today. Not with this cool breeze and the mild Mild temperatures. I see coolers along the parade route. It looks like people are staying well hydrated. With a cool bottle of water or their special beverage. And here we go. Those little people. Those funny, funny little people. Those funny little people. Those funny little people have been providing shows and parade entertainment since 1979. From weddings to state fairs and festivals. From senior events to professional sporting events. From school and corporate affairs, they truly have something for everyone. Something magical happens when little people enter the scene. Their expressive, animated faces and interacting with audience members is where they truly shine. Those funny little people. And up next... Oh, you got more Let's of those see. funny little people. There they are. <laughs> okay, that's me. How y'all doing? We're How are you? Great, little people. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious, Vern. <laughs> you know, for as many time as I as many times as I've seen those funny little people, it it, it still throws me every time. Just the uh, the body proportions. <laughs> Your brain tries to to fit them into what you know a person should look like and it just doesn't fit. And up next is Nothing Bunt Cakes. Nothing Bunt Cakes is located in Oak Lawn on 109th and Cicero. At Nothing Bunt Cakes, two good friends have combined the warmth of nostalgia with a fresh modern approach. Our luscious cakes only use the finest ingredients, real eggs, butter, and cream cheese. Each bite slowly melts in your mouth, calling you back to a day in life Calling back to a day when life was a little sweeter and time passed more slowly. 
And Jeff Reynolds is also one of the uh, owners of Nothing Bun Cakes right here in Oakland. And a fellow Chamber of Commerce member. What a great organization, too. They're always giving back to the community. I can't tell you how many community events that I've been to where I see oh, Nothing Bunt Cakes listed as one of the supporters. They are huge supporters of the community. One of the things that's, that, that, that's so excellent about uh, not only having a local business and shopping local, but when, that, when those businesses give back to the organizations within the Absolutely. community. Uh, coming up next is Mayor Sandra Burry. Our Mayor, Dr. Sandra Burry. I apologize, Dr. Sandra Burry. Uh, so Mayor Burry and the staff of the executive offices would like to wish everyone a happy 4th of July. Mayor Burry is very excited to participate in the parade. Mayor Burry is, participate, is a practicing optometrist and is the owner of Complete Vision Care in Oak Lawn. She is a... <laughs> Shop Oak Lawn. She, she is a proud member of the Oak Lawn Rotary Club and Oak Lawn Chamber of Commerce and wanted to remind all residents to shop Oak Lawn first whenever possible. She'd like to thank all the residents who came out to celebrate our independence and wishes everyone a safe and happy holiday. And, uh, of course, a little girl doing cartwheels right now is uh, my daughter, Kristen. Definitely a big fan of a lot of the uh, the, the people with uh, Sandra Berry. Yeah, Mayor Berry has, has done an excellent job, and she's such a huge supporter of our business community and the Oakland Chamber of Commerce. We really appreciate the job that she does each and every day in her team. All right, and immediately following uh, Mayor Burry is 4th District Trustee Terry Vorder. 4th District Trustee Terry Vorder is a lifelong resident of the village. A Vietnam veteran, 1st Infantry Division, and retired Chief of Patrol for the Oakland Police Department. As Trustee Terry is proud to serve the village of Oakland and its people, the 4th District is home to advocate Christ Hospital. Uh, I have to pause for a second because the uh, <laughs> folks riding in his car. That's uh, five of my family members. My wife's driving his car. We should have had our own float, Vern. We should have had With, our yeah, own Yeah, you float. have six children? Yeah, I, I have got six, four. Four, ten between us. And okay. Two cats, right? Two cats. All yeah, right. Anyway, the fourth dis... Uh, sorry, I already read that. The property at 95th and Pulaski in District 4 is undergoing a new and exciting redevelopment. Trustee Vorder is working to ensure a new and modern commercial gateway to Oak Lawn. Trustee Vorder wishes all a safe and happy 4th of July. It's great to be an American. What do we have the Midnight here? Terror Haunted House. Experience a new kind of fear. The October Midnight. <clears throat> at, uh, experience a new kind we're of fear. The a, October at Midnight from, uh, Terror Haunted Slide House. Hammered. Located at 5520 West 111th Street. Half off opening weekend tickets are now on sale at MidnightTerror.com. And you know, they not only have their haunted house, but they have a fantastic laser tag arena. And my understanding is... They, they also have an axe throwing range. Okay, all right. What's uh? This what is are the South Side, South Side Shrine Club Mini Tees. Mini Tees. They're a Medina Shrine Club located in the south suburbs of Chicago. The Shrine Club has been a staple of our parade with its fun and amusing Mini Tees. Shriners enjoy many opportunities to find personal fulfillment and satisfaction by supporting Shriners Hospitals for Children, which provides state-of-the-art treatment of orthopedic conditions, spinal cord injuries, and burns to children 18 and under, no matter the family's ability to pay. I don't know. what. This would, is awesome for the kids. You think you'd rather be on a flying carpet or one of these mini tees? I'm going to go with the flying carpet. I don't know. Maybe the mini tee, too. Hey, guys. How are you? I'll, I'll tell you, looking at the mini tees, my knees hurt. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't think you'd have an option, Don. I think you'd have to be in the carpet. Okay, I'll do the carpet. Up next is the Oak Lawn Arts Commission. The mission of the Oak Lawn Arts Commission is to support, foster, and bring arts in all forms to Oak Lawn. The commission was spot responsible for Acorns, Acorns on Parade, which resulted in 27 large painted acorns situated throughout the Oak Lawn area. A map is available on the Oak Lawns Commission page located on the village website. They also hold the third annual they also will hold the third annual Battle of the Bands at Fall on the Green on the 
on Friday night. One of Look. the driving forces behind the Oakland Arts Commission is uh, Terry Porter's wife, Linda Porter. They they do a great job, that whole group. They do. They do an awesome job. All right, and uh, next up, we've got the Oakland Library. It's been open seven. It's open seventy hours each week, seven days a week. Stop by to pick up a book or movie, access the internet, at, attend a, a program, or read a newspaper or magazine. How you doing? And you thought hey, it was Joe. easy, huh? <laughs> hey, Joe. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Library Board you? President Joe Skabinski was one of the announcers last year. And of how course, are you guys? Uh, director <laughs> Jim Dieters and his wife. Got a lot of the uh, librarians who, who dedicate a lot of uh, time and effort into making the Oakland Library, and I'm not biased when I say this, the best library on the southwest side of Chicago. I think it's even better than your library in Orland, Don. Hey, hey, I have my business in Oakland. The library offers computer classes, meeting spaces, programs for young and old, <laughs> and even the homebound. That's right. They will come and deliver books to the homebound residents of Oakland. And remember, Smiling Clyde's Hot Dogs runs the cafe inside. What a great, what a great uh, union of a great food place and uh, a great public service. Yeah, they do a great job. The Oakland Library. You're a pretty popular guy up here, Vernon. Oh no! Come on, Don. They're all here for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got the Worth Township Democratic Organization. Worth Township Democratic Organization asks you to join them as they build their organization. Come out to meet new people and see what they're all about. It's our WTDO's mission to find, encourage, and support qualified Democratic candidates to run for office, promote community involvement in the Democratic process, offer inclusive membership to WTDO, educate voters about Democratic values, register voters, and inspire activism in the political process. You don't have to be a politician or into politics to join. You just need to care about who is representing you and your community. If you're a Democrat or independent voter in Alsip, Blue Island, Bridgeview, Chicago Ridge, Crestwood, Evergreen Park, Hometown, Marionette Park, Oaklawn, Palos Heights, Robbins, or Worth, you are invited. We're an inclusive organization. All are welcome. If you have any questions or want to pre-register, please contact um, please contact them at pjm at worthdems.org or at www.worthdems.org. That is no spaces, dashes, or anything else, just worthdems.org. Right, give it up, guys. All right, up next, right behind them, is Circus Boy. Please welcome Uncle Sam, aka Circus Boy, from the Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailing Circus. Bobby Hunt, aka Circus Boy, has opened for Weird Al Yankovic, Jackie Mason, the Beach Boys, Billy Ray Cyrus, the Smothers Brothers, the Righteous Brothers. Loverboy and Harry Anderson. This Oakland native travels the world with his comedic shows and world-renowned talent. That's right. He's uh, weaving in and out through traffic on his penny farthing. Someone needs to give that man a monocle. What do you call that again, Vernon? It's, it's a penny farthing. That's the style of bicycle where they've got the okay. big wheel in front and the little What did you learn of that? You know, you pick these things up as you go through your years. You taught this in high school? I, I don't even remember. Circus Boy. All right. After Circus Boy, we've got Jun Lee's Taekwondo. Jun Lee's Taekwondo has taught families martial arts for over 30 years in Oakland. Collectively, over the years, the school has instructed over 10,000 students. And at that amount, and as that amount increases, so does the approval of children, families, and adult community members that have been positively affected by this Taekwondo school. Jun Lee's Taekwondo also actively competes in state and national martial arts competitions, one of the few martial arts schools in the Midwest to do both. Jun Lee's Taekwondo classes promote and develop respect, discipline, and confidence while building strength, flexibility, and endurance. Stop, 
stop by at 5301 West 95th Street for an introduction and tour. And right behind them is the Oakland Community High School Band. Here's the Oakland High School Marching Spartans, led by Paul Levy and Bob Habris. The Oakland Community High School Band is dedicated to providing outstanding musical experiences and opportunities to its students. Band members have the opportunity to develop valuable life skills such as positive self-image, confidence, poise, and the musical ability to become a successful musician. The Oakland Community High School Band wishes everyone a happy and safe 4th of July. Listen to those kids play. You can hardly even imagine those are kids. This is not a professional marching band. These are high school kids. Yeah, one of our employees' daughters, daughters is actually in the band, Isabella Smykowski. I believe she's on the snare drum. What instrument does she play, Don? The, the snare drum. I don't think I've got a chance to see her. But they well, do we such a great job. thank Oakland Community High School for their participation. And following them is the Oakland Community High School Chair. Chair aims to engage students in Spartan pride by showing school spirit, boost morale, and entertain a crowd. Led by head coach Maria Vanderwarren. Our team encourages school spirit at athletic games and show supports for athletes and club members. They support every student in everything they do. Go green and white. Support OLCHS. Our OLCHS Junior Varsity and Varsity Cheer Squads wish everyone a safe and happy 4th of July. And also with them is the Oakland Community High School Dance Team. The Oakland Community High School Dance Team is led by head coaches Ryan Brent and Alex Federico. The team is dedicated to inspiring sportsmanship and self-confidence in its talented dancers. The dance team would like to wish everyone a happy 4th and to say Go Spartans! And directly after the dance team, we've got the Oakland Community High School football team looking forward to a great season. Come out and support our Spartans. The team is led by head coach Harold Blackburn. Oakland High School football wishes everyone and their families a safe and happy 4th of July. And you know what, Don, our our, uh, our high schools here in Oakland, both Richards and Oakland, have been doing very well in their in their bands, their they sports even, They've even been recently uh, ranked in the state, I believe. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and they're constantly scoring in, in the, the, the top ranks with their drama programs, with their absolutely. speech programs. What what an absolute privilege it is to have such finely run organizations. We want to thank thing. all of our teachers, of course. They do such a great job. I'm actually the the product of two two retired teachers, so we always know how hard they work in giving back to our students. And they're a big right. part of the success for the high schools. Immediately following them is Family Dental Care. Family Dental Care has been trust has been trusted since 1982, with six locations to choose from, including 9101 South Cicero Avenue, right here in Oakland. Family Dental serves Family Dental Care serves patients in Oakland, and we'll soon holding a grand uh, grand opening for the office in Crestwood. The staff will be passing out candy and tote bags. Hey, don't forget to smile. Family Dental Care. All right, and zooming in to our next parade attendee, Mickey Simple. Mickey Simple is a renowned patriotic variety juggler who hails from Dallas, Texas. He attended Northwestern University and now lives with his family in Buffalo Grove. Juggling and entertaining has always been a passion of Mickey's. Mickey wishes everyone a fun-filled fourth. And right behind Mickey, one of my favorites. Smiling Clyde's Hot Dogs. A member of the Oaklawn Library and their new permanent location there, but also uh, with their, their dog cart. The best hot dogs in the world. Smiling Clyde's Hot Dogs is a family-owned business which opened in 2011, has been a staple at the farmer's market and events all over Oaklawn. In 2018, Smiling Clyde's did open the cafe inside of the Oaklawn Library to serve their famous hot dogs along with their soups, sandwiches, and pastries. Smiling Clyde's also caters parties throughout the year. Please visit smilingclyde's.com for more information on how you can have a Smiling Clyde's cater, Smiling Clyde's cater your next event. And there you see them towing their iconic dog cart, hot dog cart behind them. That's the same hot dog cart that you will see at your party if you book with them, if you have them cater your next party. Up next is the West Side Baseball of Oakland. 
Westside Baseball of Oakland encourages good sportsmanship and respect. They offer in-house t-ball, baseball, softball, part-time travel baseball, and full-time travel baseball. Westside Baseball of Oaklawn, located at 94th and Oak Park, is also home to the Westside Warriors, competitive travel teams from 7 through 14. Westside has no boundary restrictions for players and offers enough fields so that all divisions can play at one location. Drive by and visit their facilities and look out for early bird registration rates in September. You can check them out at Westside Baseball Oaklawn. That is one word, westsidebaseballoakland.com, or on Facebook. And immediately following Westside Baseball of Oakland. We're moving right along. The Oaklawn Bible Church. The Oaklawn Bible Church has been a part of the community for over 90 years. The Oaklawn Bible Church exists to connect people with God, grow them closer to Him, and serve God and others through His Word, the Bible, and the Bible. The Oaklawn Bible School is excited about their upcoming Vacation Bible School in the wild. It's for kids who are preschool age 3 and 4 through 5th grade for fall 2019. There are endless discoveries through skits, music, games, snacks, and more. You know, John, my kids have actually gone to their vacation Bible school, and they had a really good time. Awesome. Looks like a fun and wild time at their vacation Bible school. Coming All up right, next, right. Dental. That's right, Oakland Dental has been serving Oakland and its neighboring communities for over 37 years. This family-friendly dentistry focuses on serving affordable prices, excellent service, and value to its patients. Dr. Y, Dr. Yerkes, and his staff and patients wish you all a happy and safe 4th of July. And you know, earlier, Knights of Columbus, one of his uh, band members, because Dr. Yerkes actually has a band, the Why Nuts, uh, his basis was the honor guard for the Knights of Columbus. Oh. My wife's actually sung with him multiple awesome. times. And they're located right here on 95th Street. And a crowd favorite, the Stockyard Kilty Band. Here comes Chicago's own Stockyard Kilty Band. One of the oldest and most renowned pipe bands in the United States. It was founded in 1921 and has won numerous awards and competitions throughout North America. The band is directed by Pipe Major Matt McKee, Pipe Sergeant Luke McKee, Drum Sergeant Dave McKee Jr., and Drum Major Bill McEwen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chicago Yard, the Chicago Stockyard Guilty Band. There I count ten bagpipers. It's Getting, getting 10 instruments to play in unison like this is not an easy task. We should have wore our kilts today, Vernon. No, Don, we should not have. <laughs> you know, I'll leave the kilt wearing to them. They do it very well. And as the Stockyard Kilty Band moves on, up next we have the Oak Lawn AM Sears. I just love those drums. I, I can, I can, I can feel it in me that the, the, the rhythm from their drums. Very soothing sound. That's right. So, Oakland AM Sears, Brief History, the American Motor Corporation was in the beginning stages back in 1878 when Thomas B. Jeffrey built and sold Rambler bicycles in Chicago. He was the first of three key players of the companies that created American Motors in 1954, along with Charles Nash and Joseph L. Hudson. AMC Roger is driving the white 1973 Javelin, while AMC Norm is driving the 1970 Blue Javelin. You know, Vernon, I've got a couple of these cars insured as classic vehicles. A couple customers right here in Oakland. Of course, they no longer make this vehicle, but... I'll tell you what, Don, there is nothing like the sound of some good American muscle cars. You know it. How much more patriotic can you get than the white car with red, white stripes, and blue stars? 
Immediately behind them is the American Taxi Dispatch. American Taxi Dispatch, Inc. has been servicing Chicago suburbs with low flat rates and no surge prices with trips from with trips to O'Hare, Midway, and Loop areas. Since 1976, American Taxi wants to thank you for your business. And directly behind them, we'll probably see their sign once uh, the parade gets moving in. I think someone stopped for a photo op. We've got the Twirling Bear and Barrettes, also known as TBB. TBB has been in Oak Lawn since 2009. They teach baton twirling, pom-poms, and flags. They won the CSG Recreational National Championship Palm title this year. The group has 24 members. Call 630-242-0948 to join, ages 5 and up. Again, that is 630-242-0948 to join. All right, next is the First United Methodist Church of Oak Lawn. The First United Methodist Church of Oak Lawn is finally recognized as the Pumpkin Patch Church by local residents. It's represented by a cross-section of its community, which welcomes all and encourages newcomers. Just for fun, our group is anchored by a 2019 Chevy Corvette Z6. Our members <coughs> join in worship, fellowship, and friendship and invite you to join, too. And speaking of American muscle, the uh, Z06, that is a beautiful car. All right, next up we have Rush Darwish for Congress. Rush Darwish will be running for Congress to serve the people and families of the 3rd District. Rush, a father of two and award-winning small business owner, does volunteer work on voter registration and empowerment while also helping disenfranchised children from war-torn countries to gain access to free medical care. Rush is represented here today by volunteers and community members who are fighting for equality, justice, and closing the inequality gaps in our local communities, including Oak Lawn. Rush Darwish for Congress. All right, coming up next is Family Waterproofing Solutions. Family Waterproofing Solutions is a family and veteran-owned company. They are a full-service basement waterproofing company. We also offer structured stabilization and concrete raising. They offer free estimates and specialty discounts. Family Waterproofing Solutions. Hopefully we don't have to give them a call anytime soon. But if we do, we know, you know who to. You know what, Don? I think I'm going to have to give them a call sooner rather than later. You might have to. What I'm happened? Right. No, no, nothing serious. Just hear <laughs> your uh, old old house issues, seeping basement walls. All right, and following them up is Home Service Glass and Board Up. They're a family-owned business with deep roots in the south suburbs with decades of service. They specialize in glass replacement, foggy windows, screen, and window repairs. In 2019, they have started offering 24-hour board-up service for those customers with untimely mishaps. They are proud to announce that they have recently become partners with Shriners Hospital for Children, and a portion of every job goes to them. In July, Home Service has pledged $5 from every job to Almost Home and their efforts to feeding the homeless. 17.76% off all orders placed in July. Visit them online, www.ahomeserviceglass.com. That is one word, ahomeserviceglass.com, or like them on Facebook. And of course, 17.76% off. That is a freedom discount. <laughs> Up next is St. Albert the Great School. St. Albert the Great School is proud to be participating in the Oak Lawn Parade this year. As your neighbors to the north in Burbank, St. Albert's is a personalized learning school where students are empowered to lead their learning through 21st century strategies and practices. St. Albert's has grown over the past few years, and we'd love to give more children the opportunity to get a high-quality, faith-based education. My uncle is actually an organist at St. Al's. There is the principal, 
Jody McLaurin. Hey, hey, Jody, how are you? And of course, behind St. Albert, one, Jody. We have the West Suburban Shrine Club Roaring 57. It's another group of people who are having too much fun on motorized vehicles while we sit here announcing the parade. The West Suburban Shrine Club has been entertaining area parade crowds since the 1950s. Their current parade unit, the Roaring 57s, has been doing procession parade exhibitions for over a decade. Their custom-made carts and cool paint jobs are always a favorite of parade spectators. The Shriners support 22 Shriners Hospitals for Children, where burned and crippled children receive medical care and assistance free of charge. Their motto, we ride so kids can walk. So, Don, what do you think? Rugs? Mini tees. We got a bit. We've got a, it's a tough decision, Vern. I don't know. Um, we we'll have to see what else is coming up next. I will say this. I feel like maybe the the uh, the flying carpets were doing the most elaborate formations. But these guys are doing a pretty good job too. That's the West Suburban Shrine Club, Roaring 57. So he's calling out the new formation. Oh, yeah, you're following your hand signals? They must love you at the baseball field. Up next, Old Mason's Lodge, 815. The Masons have been around since the 1300s. They are thought, they are thought to have started <clears throat> from the Stone Masons Guild. Oaklawn, <clears throat> Oaklawn Lodge is a Masonic organization fully dedicated to the service of our community and the principle of taking good men and making them better. The Oaklawn Masons Lodge is located at 8, 815 is located at 9420 South 52nd Avenue. That's right by the library. Right half, a, half a block, half a block east of the library. All right. Uh, next up, we have the Southwest Ball Hockey. Southwest Ball Hockey is a non not for profit organization. They offer kids ages five to fifteen to learn and compete playing ball hockey. They offer two seasons: a winter and a, they offer two seasons: a winter and a summer season for extremely low prices. They will be serving the surrounding communities for fifty years this year. Southwest Ball Hockey was started by the and I apologize. I am not going to say this name right the Piznarski family and is now run by Bob Piznarski, the Chicago Ridge Police Chief. Again, I apologize for saying that name wrong. I know it's wrong. But thank you uh, for all you're doing for the community and good luck with your seasons. They've got quite a turnout here today good for the, turn the, the ball hockey. Oh yeah. It's pretty popular from what I understand. And I believe we have another Girl Scouts troop, the Girl Scouts of America uh, Brownie Troop 65132. The Brownies are ready to take on the world, and the Girl Scouts let them do just that. They're ready to learn, learn new things, explore the world, and meet new people. And Girl Scouts, they might take a hike in the great outdoors, visit the Science Museum, and band together with fellow Brownies to sell cookies. Life is good when you're a Brownie. Girl Scouts of America, Brownie Troop 65132. And following the Girl Scouts, we have three Pink Bears Boutique. First, it looks like we have Uncle Sam. Actually, that's Dave Dewar of Tax Free Solutions, fellow chamber member and fellow board member with the Oakland Chamber of Commerce. Handing out American flags. Happy birthday, America. Next, we have Three Pink Bears Boutique. This modern and intuitive former school bus was converted into a mobile boutique. Customers have the opportunity to complete any purchase on the bus. The bus is advertising the Sassy Girl Chalet Marketplace located in Chicago Ridge. Sassy Girl Chalet Marketplace located in Chicago Ridge. Uh, 
Uncle Sam thinks to, seems to think they don't have enough flags. I don't think anyone has enough flags. Thank you, Dave. How are you? Are you here to take my money? No, Uncle Sam here. I love it. I love it, Dave. Dave D. were of Tax Free Solutions. Tax Free Retirement Solutions. There's patriotic Uncle Sam, but we won't talk about taxation, Uncle Sam. Okay? All right. Thank Good you, Uncle you, Sam. You look, you look pretty cool in that outfit. A different type of cool. Next up, we have the Oak Lawn Public Works Tower Truck. We want to thank our Public Works Department for bringing in their tower truck to our annual parade. The Public Works Department is an essential part of our community. Public Works is dedicated to providing the highest quality of service to our residents. In addition to maintaining 183 miles of public roadways, including snow removal, street sweeping, street lighting, traffic signs, and paving, they also maintain our public right-of-ways and the Parkway Tree Planting Program. Public Works also oversees the maintenance and repairs of the sewer, which is composed of two separate entities, a sanitary system and a stormwater system. Our water distribution system is highly recognized throughout the state of Illinois as Oak Lawn provides water to neighboring communities, making our village the second largest user and supplier of Lake Michigan water. Wow. I did not know that, Vernon. Another thanks to the Oak Lawn Public Works. And we are moving right along here. You staying cool over there, Vernon? You know what? At, at this temperature, staying cool has not been a problem. All right. We're under the shade. Under the shade, nice cool breeze. The temperatures are not north of 90, like they were last year. 83, up three degrees since the parade started. Who do we have up here next, Don? Next we have Caravan LLC. Is it actually I think that's Carvana? Carvana. A play off of Nirvana, but with cars. Alright, I stand corrected. Carvana LLC. Carvana is an online car retailer that is changing the way that people buy cars. Buy online. Get it delivered. Love it or return it. We're growing in Chicago in the Chicagoland area and want you to get involved in the community and want to get involved in the community. I think they're delivering that car. Uh, you, didn't, do, uh, you didn't accidentally buy a car today, did you? Uh, no, but I'll take it. Carvana, all right. You know, I've actually seen these these trucks driving around on the highway with cars on them. I, was, I, I keep meaning to look them up, and now we know. Uh, now I know. Okay. Now I know what they're about. I want to pause and thank our favorite, favorite, favorite cameraman, Roger Menace. He's on the lift alongside us. Too bad he doing can't get such an awesome job. He's the highest one here. Who do we have up next, Vern? Well, following Carvana is Webb Chevy of Oak Lawn. Webb Chevrolet is happy to participate in this year's parade. Webb Chevrolet is more than a business. They are a place that aims to spread awareness, contribute to the growth of the community, and above all, spread more joy. Webb Chevrolet knows that a community and world filled with kindness and giving is possible. Little moments are what they believe in to create a lasting print. Stop in at 9440 Cicero Avenue. Web Chevrolet encourages you to stop with to shop with them online at www.webchevy.com. That is Web Chevy with two B's dot com. All right, another crowd favorite, the Windy City Corvettes. Windy City Corvettes was incorporated in August 1990 in Orland Park, Illinois. Two of the founding members grew up in Oak Lawn and attended Oak Lawn High School. Windy City Corvettes has approximately 